you. Yes, you. This is what you are. This is what you always will be. Never forget. But... You know who Dolph Lundgren is, right? Of course you do. That's, that's, that's Dolph right there. He's a Swedish actor and filmmaker, most famous for playing Ivan Drago in Rocky IV, a Soviet Superman contrasting with the down-home all-American, well, let's be honest, also Superman of Rocky Balboa. He also starred in the Friends prequel He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Surprised that there was a live-action He-Man movie? It was a movie produced by the infamous Canon Group, where one of the most over-the-top film people in the world. Seriously, watch anything they produced. It's pretty wild. They're the reason you have Chuck Norris movies. They also made the worst superhero movie, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. You know, the one where Superman fights Nuclear Man? I don't know. It was the time cocaine was popular. Anyways, Dolph starred in He-Man. The tall, well-built, good-looking dude. You would assume that Dolph probably just got by on his looks. Well, you'd be wrong! Or possibly you already know what I'm going to talk about, but you just like hearing it over and over again. Here's the thing about Dolph. You think he's dumb? You're wrong. That This dude, he has a master's in chemical engineering. He got a scholarship to MIT. And the whole time he was going to college, he was working as a bouncer in Sydney. He was a bouncer in Sydney, Australia, working in King's Cross, which an Australian friend told me is a really big deal because apparently that's where a lot of like the gangsters hanged out. His words, not mine. Also, he was the European champion in karate. And you know what distracted him from going to MIT? He dated Grace Jones for a while. I think he's doing pretty great in life. So, that's Dolph Lundgren. I think he's fairly comfortable now as a, as a respected elder of the action film genre. And he's certainly doing a lot better than somebody like that loser Steven Seagal. 